you don't achieve worthwhile goals quickly or easily they take time they take struggle they take relentless pursuit day in and day out that's what it takes but also things don't usually fall apart quickly either at least at first it, it's it's a slow process a little slip here a little setback over there a little wearing down of discipline and will over time that's the thing success and failure are generally slow processes either slowly building things up or gradually tearing them down and that's why I say you've got to pay attention you have to watch you have to watch every single second because those seconds they turn into minutes and minutes turn into hours and hours turn into days and days turn in to years and so that second that second that just went by that counted and so did that second and so did that one and in those precious seconds you were either building or you were decaying you were either gaining ground or you were losing ground in that second and in every second every second counts so make every second count well you should be afraid of taking risks and pursuing something new but you should be more afraid of staying where you are if it's making you miserable it's like the first thing you want to do is dispense with the idea that you get to have any any permanent security outside of your ability to contend and adapt it's the same issue with children it's like you're paying a price by sitting there being miserable you might say well the devil I know is better than the one I don't it's like don't be so sure of that the clock is ticking yeah and if you're miserable in your job now and you change nothing in five years you'll be much more miserable and you'll be a lot older it's a luxury to pursue what makes you happy it's a moral obligation to pursue what you find meaningful and that doesn't mean it's easy. But you know, if you take people, and I've told you this, and you expose them voluntarily to things that they are avoiding and are afraid of, you know, that they know they need to overcome in order to meet their goals, their self-defined goals. If you can teach people to stand up in the face of the things they're afraid of, they get stronger. And you don't know what the upper limits to that are, because you might ask yourself, like, if for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, by, the def by your own definitions, right, within the value structure that you've created to the degree that you've done that, what would you be like? Well, you know, there are remarkable people who come into the world from time to time, and there are people who do find out over decades-long periods what they could be like if they were who they were, if they said, if they spoke their being forward. And they get stronger and stronger and stronger. And we don't know the limits to that. We do not know the limits to that. I wish I had not waited 14 years. Somebody said, if you want to lose something, lose money. You can get that back. Eight out of 10 millionaires have been financially bankrupt. Walt Disney filed bankruptcy seven times and had two nervous breakdowns. But don't lose time. There were. 14 years I sat on the sideline. 14 Three. years I said, I don't have an investor in me like Tony Robbins. 14 years that said, I don't have an MBA or a PhD and, and I can't compete with these guys. I have the complexion of rejection. 14 years I silenced myself. Wow. And so I regret that because there are some people that maybe if they'd heard my voice, they would not have turned to drugs. If they'd heard my voice, their lives would have taken a different direction. And I can't get those 14 years back. That haunts me and may, I think that drives me when I speak with such energy. I'm, I'm trying to make up for that time, but I can't.